to the vlog. So today I'm gonna be putting my Christmas tree up um, in my classroom. It is Friday, November 30th. And I think how I'm gonna do it is, I'm gonna go ahead and put my tree up. Originally, I wanted to put the tree up with my, um, with my class, but I'm not sure how that would go. And then I wanted to do Elf on a Shelf. So I was thinking I could put the tree up and then have the Elf out, like the Elf put it up, or like somebody came and put it up with the Elf, Elf, something like that. So let me go get my tree out of my room. And usually how I want my room set up, like the last couple of years, I've been, don't look at my tree all the way up here. Past couple of years, I have been doing a um, gingerbread house for my classroom door. But I'm not sure I'm gonna do that this year. I kinda wanna do, I still kinda wanna make it fun, like Candyland or something, but not like, not a gingerbread house. I know I don't want to do a gingerbread house. It's too much work. I don't even feel like doing all that work. So I'm just gonna find something to kind of like watch on Netflix or at least listen to. And I have been so tired. Like you hear how hard I'm breathing. I have watched all Law and Order SVUs on on Netflix. <laughs> I didn't watch all of those. I love that show. Like. <laughs> I don't know. I just like this show. But I'm just going to find something to watch. Um, today was pretty good. This week was pretty good, actually. This is our first week back to school since um, Christmas, I mean, Thanksgiving break. And they came back. It was a smooth transition back. However, I still got my same behavior problems. And let's just talk while I set this tree up. So I still have my same like behavior problems, which I totally un get. I'm, I'm gonna have behavior problems. I cannot, you know, get around it. However, the problem I'm running into is that I'm doing everything that's quote unquote needs to be done. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like I have a, a book talking about behavior problems. Um, I feel like I can relate to my students. I have made a connection. I have built um rapport with my students i really do feel like let me see i really do feel like you know i have tried every possible thing to to you know break down these barriers and um and i really i identify with my students like you know i really do and so I'm not understanding if it's just lack of, I have like a super small tree. It's not even that big. It's a, it's a six foot Rocky Mountain pine. This how it's supposed to look, y'all. I promise it don't look like this when I put it up. You see how nice and full and fluffy this tree looks? Okay. We'll see. Because last year when I did it, no, not last year. I didn't put a tree up last year. Year before last, it was skimpy and just not really popping, popping, not popping, popping. But anyway, like I was saying, was um, I, I feel like I have done, I have done a lot to really help. And it, you know what? Let me just be honest. It's just one student in particular, like. The rest of my students, or the, you know, in my class, I have a, a very strong bond with them. But this little boy, I don't necessarily have a very strong bond with him. And I can be honest, I don't. Um, I'm not sure if it's lack of respect for um, female um, authority figures. Because I was actually talking to my assistant about this, and she felt the same way. Uh, we have we have a few males in our school. Like I must have, have I admit, like males really pull through in our school. So we have several male assistants. We have a male um, assistant principal, 
and uh you know the males show up here and so when it comes to a man it's like he's at attention but when it comes to me or my assistant or you know someone else that's a female that's an authority figure he has lack of respect and i have noticed that several times and um i even you know kind of like question mom like you know it seems as if if i tell him something he doesn't necessarily want to hear it but uh you know i'm trying to gain a stronger bond with him i'm trying to really connect with him do you have any suggestions and mama just kind of like oh he had like that at home oh he had like that at home i mean it's like all she really says and i actually got a book from the principal about uh behaviors and how to um how to address certain behaviors so it, it'll give you you know it, it had a, li a list of behaviors and then you choose his the behavior that he's exhibiting and after you choose the behavior that he's exhibiting you find it gives you suggestions on how to um how to handle that behavior or what to do to eliminate that negative behavior cool right right love it but it seems like everything and i'm, I'm doing it with fidelity i feel like but i guess it's just i don't know it, it's just so much that then i i, we, I will feel overwhelmed like, i'm gonna be honest i will feel overwhelmed i just be kind of like oh that's oh wait oh this is a lot i got to do this and do this and i don't know it's just it, 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 it's just so much like okay for example today make sure this tree right and i'm not like a perfectionist when it comes to this tree i'm more of a pull it up put it up let's put the ornaments on type person but uh and i'm really doing it for the magic of christmas not for the necessary the looks anyway but um so today we were in centers okay and a little I'm, okay and i try to handle the situation with care because i don't know what exactly took place so i, I look over I, I heard a little girl saying stop in a little boy's name so of course i look over i'm like what's going on and um he she's covering her area because they had like little work cards She's covering her area with her arms, and he's like over in her arms, um, like he's trying to get something. And so I'm like, what is going on? And she's a, a Spanish speaking student, and so she she does speak with like an accent, and she's trying to talk, I really don't, can't understand. Then she starts crying, and I'm just kinda like, whoa, whoa, how did we go from, you know, this to this? And so you know, I asked the little boy, and he's just kind of like she tried to take the cards from me and he says and she says no he tried to take them from me and i said well i'm not sure what happened i don't know who was trying to take them from who but it's enough cards over there for everyone you know it's no need to to act like that just get another card especially if you saw she had it in her area just you know don't worry about it get another card now prior to this my assistant had just gotten on to him because when we were rotating the centers um she the little girl was at the seat first and he kind of like rushed over to move her out of the way you know how children are rushed to a seat is these cobwebs rushed over to move her out of the seat so he can sit in there. and she wasn't letting up like she was like holding on tight to that seat and so anyway like it's just i don't know what that is so she was like holding on tight to that seat and so my assistant was like just get another chair be a gentleman so i reminded him i was like you remember when you know she was telling you about being a gentleman and you know being respectful and treating the ladies with care and being nice to them sometimes you just have to you know let things go and I told him, I said, it's not worth fighting over. I'm not, I'm not sure who had what. I'm not sure what actually took place. But I do um, want you to be the bigger person. And just kind of let it go. You know, it's some more cards. 
So get some more cards. And then I explained to him that, um, you know, she doesn't speak English very well. And so we have to help her. And, you know, just kind of like be a gentleman. Just kind of like, you know, support others. I'm trying to prop y'all up somewhere. Like right here, baby. But it's absolutely nothing. Right here, I can pop you up on. You know, like be a gentleman or whatever. And he proceeds. All right, let's do it right there. He proceeds to laugh at me. He proceeds to laugh at me. And it's the type of laugh where it's like disrespectful. It is. It was very disrespectful. And I felt disrespected. And so I told him, I was like, you have to learn respect, and you have to learn empathy, and you have to learn that you don't treat people how you don't want to be treated. So if you don't want someone to laugh at you when you're hurting, don't laugh at you know, anyone else when they're hurting. And he just was like skinning and grinning, like smirking, like it was funny. And I guess my biggest problem is I don't know how to combat that behavior. Like he 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 isn't he doesn't care about others. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. He doesn't care about others. And he's very he's very smart, but he can be very selfish. And it's just, it's just not conducive to you know, our our classroom. We just, we don't deal well with it. And, you know, I just feel like, I, know, I, just, I, I just feel like he really knows. I feel like sometimes he knows that he's like getting under my skin and then he does it intentionally. But I don't want him to grow up and be the kind of person who hurts people you know, or laughs at others because he just don't care. I mean, I, I feel like that's just the bottom line to it. He just really does not care. And I, know, I just kind of, I want him to care. I want him to, to, you know, have feelings and emotions and, you know, really, have feelings and emotions and really um, take other people into consideration and not be so selfish and just have a heart, you know? And I think that's the biggest thing that I'm battling is I feel like that this little kid does not have a heart. And it's heartbreaking because I'm like, all little kids, you know, deserve love and deserve to be treated nice and deserve to be taken care of and they just deserve to have a good childhood and I just I, I want that for him and his peers and I just don't even I don't know I just honestly don't know because it's not academic it's not an academic problem at all it's a strictly a behavior problem strictly it's so Sometimes I, I have, I really, I get a little irritated. I really, really do. I get a little irritated. Okay, let me look at this tree off camera because it does not look how skimpy it looks. I swear, that does not look, looks like the Grinch's tree. Y'all cannot tell me this is the same tree. Oh, you can't even see. Is that a big glare on it? Y'all cannot, ugh. okay, y'all cannot tell me this is the same tree. Where? How? What? Huh? What? What? I don't know. So leave your comments below about like how to um how to teach empathy and how to teach care and how to teach respect and how to teach just being there for other people. I mean, we use tools for life. It's a really good program. 
um we go to the counselor once a week but i just feel like i need more like maybe one-on-one -on -one with him maybe but what's crazy is i feel like he knows right from wrong because after he's said and done his episode then he will like apologize and it'll seem sincere um i'm still kind of on the fence about if it really is or he just putting on an act or was the initial uh the initial episode of act you know what i'm saying it's just kind of like i it, it's hard to believe it's it's hard to read him he, he's a hard to read kid so i don't know especially after i have talked to mom and mom has said the same thing okay this tree is just gonna be what it is and i am gonna put it over here in this area I'm gonna move this. Whew. It's so hot in high school. Like, well, I'm not gonna complain because I'm not dead hot. I'm just kind of hot. But, um, oops. I'm gonna move this down here. I'm gonna move this chair over here. Move a tree right there. <sighs> boom boom biggity boom boom bow how you like me now and so i am gonna get i feel like i had some ornaments so we made paper ornaments or something i'm not sure and then i'm gonna get a tree skirt i think i really am gonna get that and this is our tree i'm gonna get an elf on a shelf this weekend i still got eef money y'all and when I always check my account, I'm like, where is this money? Like, I'm not using it or something. I need to get like my aunt over here. She knows how to fluff trees. She's all into decorating and stuff. You see how I just left this stuff all jumbled up? That's probably why it doesn't look as thick and stuff. But um, I am going to, now I can't get like, I can't get like ornaments and stuff with my EF <laughs> money. But I'm going to get, I have like a little list. Where's my list? I don't even know what I did with it, y'all. I had like a little list. Well, let me show you this book. This is a book, No Grades, No Play, Balance in School and Sports. It is by Ray Shipman. Um, Ray Shipman was a football player and a professional football player. Here he is. And he wrote this book, and it basically is about balancing, you know, school and playing sports. Um, if you don't make the grades, you can't get on, you can't play on the team, basically. And so, it's a really good book. I read it to my son one night, and I actually bought it for my class. But my son, the other day, well, last night, actually, that's why I got it up, because I'm going to take it home uh, for the weekend, because he wanted to read it again. And I didn't have it. But, um... I got like a little to-do list. I'm going to, uh, let me find it. Okay, here it is. Okay. I need to get some partitions for my classroom. Let me close this window. It is a really beautiful day. It turned out to be a really beautiful day. It stormed this morning. And it turned out to be a really beautiful day. But, um, I need to get me... Some partitions for when we take our spellings in a uh, math test. I need to get laminating sheets. Um, and I wanna make I need to make some sensory bottles for my calm down center. I have to have sensory bottles. Elf on the shelf and I don't know what this is. It says charts. I don't know. I don't know what kind of charts I need. Do you ever make lists and then you like what is on, what is this on my list? Or what did I need this for? I can I can't remember what I needed it for. I can't I don't remember what I needed it for. Oh, let me show you this book. So this is the book I got from my principal, Behavior Intervention Manual, specifically for you know my behavior student. Because I just can't give up on him. Like I just can't. It's goals, objectives, and intervention strategies. So right here you have your uh your list of behaviors basically. And you just you have academic performance which is not his his behavior is not academic performance emotional physical well-being he's not a a cutter or anything like that which i mean it, it goes into deeper um it dives deeper because it, it won't only talk about emotional just like him cutting or hurting or suicide or anything like that 
but it does it even talks about uh taking responsibility for himself you know things like this and so i thought this was a really good one especially for him because i do think it's more emotional because he he, he has very high emotions i don't uh, it's not hyperactive or impulsive um inappropriate behavior um he does i mean some of his behavior is inappropriate for example he do, he does talk about things that's um i would think is out of his age you know range but i don't know what he's watching at home or what he does at home throws temper tantrums you know stuff like that that's an inappropriate behavior climbs on things lies and lies exaggerates distorts the truth that's something and then even uh i got one little boy he just he he honestly does he doesn't have any anger issues or nothing i don't know you haven't met these little kids who just like take stuff and like know it's wrong he does that like he I caught him taking Lincoln chains, um, counting bears, blocks. In essence, he has a problem with stealing. <laughs> we just want to be clear about it. He got a problem with stealing. And so, like, I just really had to, like, boy, you know you don't supposed to be doing this. Why are you doing it? Like, you know, like, really talk to him, like, don't take none of my stuff. So, I'm like, it gives you, like, a lot of stuff personal hygiene which is a really good one for i would think for like high school i mean but even like for elementary school but you know on this grade level a lot of the stuff goes with the uh parents like i feel like at this age parents should still be kind of monitoring their baths and what they're eating and different stuff like that motivation organization listening and personal relationships so i mean it's just a ton a ton a ton of stuff but anyway the tree is up that's what it is that's what it's gonna be we are gonna do some ornaments i am gonna get a tree skirt i'm gonna get an elf on the shelf and pretend like the elf put the tree up and then that'll be it so i'm gonna end this uh vlog right here i will talk to you all later bye